this is Algebra 2, continuation of 13.2. So the other part of this assignment here is basically dealing with finding angles and then how they relate to what's called the unit circle. So what the unit circle is, essentially, is when we have a, a circle that's centered at the origin and that the radius is 1. So we have some kind of four key spots here. So we have like 1, 0 here, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. What we're essentially doing here is I'm going to give you an angle in that unit circle and ask you to find the coordinates of the ordered pair on the circle. So essentially to do that, we're going to build right triangles. So if I had this spot right here, if I knew this angle, let's say, what I'd want to do then is drop this down uh, and form a 90 degree angle. And then I can use, um, from that, what we were just doing from before, sine and cosine or tangent to figure out these unknown parts. In fact, actually just sine and cosine. So to do this, again, build right triangles, what we're going to use is use sine and cosine to find those x and y's. Um, remember, sine was opposite divided by hypotenuse. So if I think about that, the idea of opposite, that's this part. If this is my angle, this is my opposite here, and this is my hypotenuse. So really, I just need this number right here. It's going to tell if I do the sine of this angle, it's going to tell me this number, which if I think about that, that's up and down, so that's y. Um, because if I divide this by 1, it's really just this. So the idea here is if I want to figure out this distance here, which is y, I just have to use sine. Uh, cosine was adjacent. Cosine is used for finding the x because that's hypotenuse over, or sorry, adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent is this. So if I divide this length by 1, it's just going to be this length. Sideways is x. So the idea here is, is that sine of the angle is going to be used to find the y. Cosine is going to be used to find x. So essentially our ordered pair then is going to be the cosine of our angle and then our sine of our angle. Okay, that's going to be our ordered pair idea. So what we're going to be here is we're going to be in the unit circle. So we're going to look, revisit our special right triangles that we did an assignment on already, just as a review, if this is um, 1. So essentially what I'm saying here is that this is an angle here. So let's say this is my circle. So it's kind of looking like that. So if I could figure out this spot right here, this ordered pair, okay, it's going to tell me the x and the y. So I want to use this 45, 45, 90 idea here to figure out this and this, if this is 1. So in general, our 45, 45, 90 relationship here, remember how this, these were the same number, and then this was the number with the square root of 2. That was our general idea. So what I'm going to have to do with this is like we did before. We're going to say this is the formula for the hypotenuse. This is what it was. And then we have to do the algebra to figure out these two things. Remember, this is x. So if I divide by square root of 2, I can't physically divide that, but I can multiply by, uh, by the bottom because that will cancel out the square root in the bottom. This will turn into then square root of 2 over 2. Technically, that 1 would be there. So it's a half of square root of 2. Typically, you just have it this way. So if we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle in the unit circle, it means that this will be square root of 2 over 2, and this will be square root of 2 over 2. Those sides are the same. Okay, so we like 45, 45, 90s because the x and the y will be the same values. If I have this one, so I have this 30 degree angle up here. So with that one, if I think about again where this is, it would be kind of like this idea. There's my circle, my badly drawn circle. This would be 60, there. Um, so again, I'm relating, I want to relate the short side to this, and I want to relate the medium side to that. So let me real quick draw that, uh, the 30, 60, 90 relationship triangle. Okay, so this was the short side, the hypotenuse was this side doubled, and then the medium side was the short side with the square root of 3. Okay, so first thing first, this is the side that was doubled. So what I have to do then is cut it in half to get the short side, to get this. So if that's 1, this is half. And then to get to this, I'm going to grab the number, and I'm going to put a square root of 3 after it. So the half times square root of 3. Typically what you'll see though is square root of 3 over 2. That's the common way to write it. So these are going to be numbers that come up a lot. Okay, so make sure that these triangles are in your head or make sure that they're filled out in your notes. So we're going to kind of put it all together now, hopefully. So we want to find the sine and the cosine of each angle. So I have this 30 degree angle here, and we're in the unit circle because of the 1. So because of that, we can flip back and look at our, our 30, 60, 90 relationships and fill these numbers in right away. I'm going to quick flip back and look at it. 
So this is our triangle. So opposite of the 30 is going to be the half. Opposite of the 60 is the square root of 3 over 2. So 30 opposite half, 60 opposite square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so opposite of the 30, I'm going to label that half. Opposite of the 60, which would have to be here then, would be square root of 3 over 2. Okay, and then just a matter of finding the sine and the cosine of that. So the sine and cosine, or so remember, sine got us y, cosine got us x. So we're going to list our cosine value first, or the x value first. Okay, so cosine of 30 degrees okay, is the x value. So square root of 3 over 2. Uh, sine of 30 degrees. Sine is the opposite. Okay, so there's our information. Um, so if I just say find the sine and cosine, that's all I would need. If I say write it as an ordered pair, I actually have this backwards, so this is wrong. Okay, so make sure you change that. It should be uh, cosine first, because cosine is adjacent, it's sideways. So cosine should be first, sine would be second. And then the only thing I have to worry about here is where am I at on my graph? So remember, this is actually on a grid here, on a graph, like a coordinate plane here. How do I get to this spot? I'm going right and up. So what that means is that this is positive and so is this. So they're both positive. So if we're in this quadrant, quadrant one, which is this one, so it's quadrant one, two, three, and four. If we're in quadrant one, this upper right corner, both the x and the y will be positive. If we're here, here, here though, one or both of those x or y values will be negative. So we just gotta be careful on that. Okay, let's try another one. So we have this 45 degree angle here, this reference angle. So what we wanna do then is make our triangle. I'm gonna drop that straight down. Make the 90. This time I have a 45. So those are the ones that are easier. If we flip back to our picture, when we have this 45, 45, 90 triangle, if this is one, these are both square root of two over two. The same, the same numbers. Because these angles are the same, the sides are the same. Square root of two over two. So we're gonna transfer that information here. So this is square root of two over two. This is square root of two over two. So that's our picture, that's our triangle. Now we have to answer the question. Sine of 45 degrees and cosine of 45 degrees. Okay, um, so our sine of this, now technically now remember the 45 is just to help us. It actually, I shouldn't have written 45. I actually would need to figure out this angle. Okay, technically is what I'd want. So I'm gonna change this out. I'm not gonna keep 45 actually. The 45 is the reference to help me out, but the actual angle is this opening. So remember that's 90 and 45. So 90 and 45, if I add those up, would be 135. So this is actually gonna be actually not be sine of 45, but sine of 135, technically, is what this is and cosine of 135, because that's actually the spot we're at. What are my values? So remember, sine is the up and down. It's the opposite over hypotenuse, but this is one. So it's gonna be square root of two over two. Cosine is a sideways one, square root of two over two. Then we just have to get our sines. So how do we get to this spot? So from the origin, we went left and up. So the left idea, which is the cosine idea, this will be negative. Okay. As an ordered pair, x value first, which is cosine, y value, which is sine. That's my ordered pair. Let's try one more. So this one here, um, so I'm gonna draw my right triangle. I have a 60 degree angle, which means this is 30. So if you go back to that reference triangle, just real quick, so if this was one, let's say that was 30 and this was 60. If that's one, this was half, and this was square root of three over two. That's our idea. So opposite of the 30 is half. So if that's 60, that's 30. So this is half. Okay, this one is opposite of the 60. So that's square root of three over two. There's my information. Uh, sine and cosine. I gotta get the angle, so I need all of this. Okay, so it's not the 60. The 60 is to help us, but the angle I need then is actually this one. So that's 270 plus an extra uh, 30. So it'd be 300, or think all of this is 360, but I don't want the 60. Either way, it's 300 degrees. Okay. Sine is up and down, it's the y value, so it's gonna be this value, square root of three over two. Cosine is the sideways, so half. Now we gotta think about our sines. So to get to this spot, we had to go right and down. So the right is associated with positive, that's gonna stay positive. The down is negative. So there's my information. As an ordered pair, x first, then y. So x first, which is cosine. y first, which is sine. 
Um, I also may have you write this as a decimal. So if I do, um, half is 0.5, and then you would want to divide square root of 3 by 2. Square root of 3, make sure you close that off, divide by 2. Square root of 3 divided by 2 is going to be 0.87. Okay, so negative 0.87. If you had to do this one, I say write it as a decimal instead. You would have to divide square root of 2 by 2. Close out that parenthesis, divide by 2, which is 0.71 if you round that. So this would be negative 0.71, positive 0.71. Okay, so lots of things here. We kind of built up into stuff. So the idea of getting angles in the right spot and figuring out what these angles are, that's what we were kind of working on in the first half of the assignment. And then the second half was the idea of figuring out sine and cosine. Cosine is going to be x because it's sideways. It's adjacent over hypotenuse. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. If you think about a triangle, okay, this is adjacent. That's x. That's sideways. Um, sine is up and down. Okay, because that's opposite over hypotenuse. So up and down is opposite, which is sine. So cosine x, sine y. And then we had our special right triangle. So keep in mind, again, these two right here, this triangle here, it can be very, very important, and so is this one. Okay, so make sure that these are filled out with your sides.